everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to everybody new. Hello and welcome. You are looking at Stellan. Stellan is my Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Before we get started, real quick, I know y'all that are my regulars are getting sick of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, my channel has a membership program. We are called the Pixie Squad. If you would like to join up, it is $1.99 a month. That is all inclusive. You can cancel at any time. You must be 18 years or older. So come on in, check out the Pixie Squad. Literally less than a price of a cup of coffee a month. Can't go wrong. Great support for my channel. Exclusive content for you. So, all right. Anywho, let's get started because we got a lot to do in this video with Stellan because I'm going to get him changed and I have this gorgeous jacket outfit. Um, It is one that you know, I, I pretty much ordered for Oscar, <laughs> um, but it's, it's the, uh, you know, plain Peter, Pi uh, Peter Pan collar uh, short sleeve onesie, and then it's this beautiful um, classic, I, I find this a, you know, Spanish look um, in, uh, I guess you call it like the bloomers with the the little top part in the baby blue and the white and it has the beautiful uh jockety buttons on there um just kind of really simple classic look i feel and i just th this color looks beautiful on stella in this baby blue and he really rocks that that very classic look so i, I do want to get that on him i love the the uh the crisp white you know, this crisp white uh, shirt is just uh, so nice. All right, anyways. So, I want to adjust Stellan's um, arms and legs. I want to tighten them. I'm going to show you all why. Um, well, well that, that could be one reason if you've seen his leg flop back like that. They're very, very loose. Um, so when I reweighted him, um, the last time, which was probably, yeah, I, I don't even know when that was, but I did, I did it on camera. Um, but I left the, uh, the, the zip ties just a little too loose. I'm always afraid of tightening them too much, um, because then they don't, you know, then they don't move. Uh, but I left them too loose, you know. I, I left them too loose. What am I going to do? So, Stellan's been in this loved baby. Uh, the, just this classic uh, sleeveless onesie, like, half the summer. I really love Stellan in that just a very simple, classic look. So, I decided to do this with you all with the uh, zip ties. I got four out here um, because I know that that's helpful for new collectors. Um, it's very important to um, learn and become comfortable with making adjustments or repairs to your reborn dolls. Um, at a certain point, if you are planning on getting serious into the collecting or even if you just plan on having one reborn doll, um, almost kind of, especially with that in a way. So I use these, they, these are called cuticle clippers and you can find them in any drug store and they, they make it super easy to, to clip the zip ties. Super, super easy. So, um, yeah, the thing about it is, is that even if you have one reborn doll, um, especially then if you're loving on that doll and playing with that doll, um, you know, you might have to, you know, an arm might fall off, a leg might fall off. You might decide that you really would love to adjust the weight on that baby, um, you know, any number of things. And it's just really important to 
um, as many collectors will say, get comfortable doing these um, sorts of things because at a certain point along the line, uh, you know, if you're watching this video because you have an interest in the hobby, because you have reborn dolls or you have them on the way or you're just, you know, one of my regular viewers, then you know what I'm talking about. But, um, this is just the inevitable. And I know that it can be scary at first. Oh my gosh, to take an arm or a leg off or a head off and um, there's that fear of what if I what if I mess it all up? What if I don't get it on right? But you just you can't mess this up. You know, buy yourself a, a bag of zip ties <laughs> from one of the reborn doll suppliers. You can't find these really thin ones any anywhere else. Um, so you need to go to a dealer like McPherson's or Bountiful Babies, uh, Irresistibles. Trueborns, uh, you know, there's a lot of them. Um, so now I'm being very careful um, not to over tighten because once you over tighten, you can't go back. So, okay, yeah, see, that's pretty tight, but I, you know, but still nice and movable. So I think that's perfect. Um, but as you see, when you go too loose, you have the baby loose and that affects the feeling of uh your doll you know if you have those arms and legs fly flopping around by the way just to hide the zip tie back in that spot there if you just kind of wiggle jiggle shake that around a little bit usually they just go right back into the bodies where you can't see them like that it's it's just that simple um, it's really not hard. Um, so I think Ines was saying in a video, like, unless you have like, um, you know, if you do have like, you know, hand, eye, you know, eye, you know, eye issues or, you know, hand, eye, uh, coordination, like motor skill, um, you know, things, then, then you definitely might, uh, you know, then that might be something that you might want to ask somebody to help you with, of course, but, um, anybody that is, you know, okay with, you know, just general things, buttoning up a shirt, tying things, you know, just little arts and crafts, you know, just kind of any basic stuff. Um, that, you know, I mean, we don't all have the same, you know, some people have very fine motor coordination and some don't, but like, you know, I, I think it's something that any, pretty much anybody can do unless, you know, you, of course you've got something going on or real bad or arthritis or you, you know, you can't bend your fingers good and things like that, where you might have difficulty and you might worry about, you know, if you can't see, you might worry about poking the doll with, you know, that's, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like that sort of thing. Um, but other than that, there is really no reason for anybody to be afraid to do this. You will always, always be able to get the doll back together. Um, even if it takes you a couple zip ties because you you know, tighten one too much or loosen one, leave one too loose and cut it, you know, um, or you decide you, you know, you don't like the, the way you weighted the doll and you just want to, you know, uh, open up and add more, take more out, um, make some adjustments. Um, you want to have plenty of zip ties because otherwise then you're waiting on zip ties to, I think that'll loosen up enough, but we'll see. So, you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, order yourself enough. I, you know, they come in, uh, large amounts and they're not, you know, they're not terribly pricey. So, and again, that one just wiggle, wiggle in. There we go, Stellan. That's better. See, now his arms hold up. Whereas um, they were, if I left them like this, they were going like that. They were flopping all the way back, which, you know, like his legs are doing. Like if I put them up like that, they're, 
<laughs> it's falling totally over. So, um, yeah. And that actually, you know, I don't hold Stellan a lot. And, you know, I tend to wonder why. Let me see if I can move him so you can all see what I'm doing here. Um, because, you know, sometimes you want to kind of wiggle it out as much as you can so you can see it. And then um, kind of grab a end here and, and pull it so that you're exposing the part that you want to cut. And uh, and please, folks, I always do remind everyone that I am not a... Um, I always find it hard to walk and chew gum here. <laughs> uh, that I am not a professional. I am not an artist. I am just a, you know, a doll collector. And this is just, you know, what I have learned from other collectors, from my own experience that I'm sharing. Um, so by all means, you know, consult a professional and you know, maintenance and do things with your dolls at your own risk. I'm just showing you, how, you know, how it goes easy for me and explaining that most people can do it. But, um, yeah, I just always want to put that disclosure that I, you know, this isn't, uh, I'm not, I'm not teaching a course here. I'm not a professional, but I... I really enjoy sharing with you all uh, this sort of stuff. I know it's stuff that I looked for when I was, uh, you know, first coming in. And sometimes I would find, you know, a little bit of what I needed on one channel, a little bit on another. And I think it's really nice that if you're following um, a channel that you really enjoy and, and you like the channel create, creators personality and you love their collection and you you find their videos you know entertaining and enjoyable and you leave feeling good and that sort of thing you know all of the above that you you know enjoy it's so nice if there's you know if they share a lot of the information that you need um starting out and kind of have something for everybody because, of course, then we have our uh, collectors that, you know, have been here. We're all at different stages and levels and we all collect in different ways. Um, so, of course, some of you, you know, can do this with your eyes closed and are way past this. Um, and, you know, you'd rather, you know, uh, you know, see where to get, you know, uh, certain clothing or how certain brand sizing fits and you know that sort of thing I just want to put all my garbage in um uh if that makes sense so I like to put a variety because of course this is not just a channel for uh you know to, to you know tutor newbies and I I um I will put this up in my playlist because I am creating a playlist. There's many videos on it already and I will continue to add um which is an introduction to collecting and tips and things for new collectors. So this stuff is kind of all in one spot for you all, which I thought that would make it nice. And don't forget that um, what I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, which is my uh, channel members membership, um, you know, you're getting exclusive content in there. You're getting access to um, exclusive, you know, members live chats, uh, posts, and the channel membership is fairly new. We're only on our second month here. Um, and it's going great. Uh, there's a lot of collectors in there at all different stages. There's some artists in there. And, you know, there are collectors networking in there. Um, everyone's getting to know one another, which is, you know, super nice. And that is definitely a place that if you, if you have a lot of questions, uh, you know, or want more of... Um, a one-on-one -on -one guidance to kind of 
uh, you know, ask back and forth. I mean, not one-on-one, -on -one, but in a smaller group and have my attention to be able to ask back and forth. Because out here, you know, it, this is my hobby here. This is general YouTube. I do this for fun. This is my hobby. I'm doing the membership for fun as well. Don't get me wrong. But you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is just my my way of enjoying my collection. Um, making my videos here. And I'm not necessarily like. Like, I, I read all my comments, um, for sure, but I don't take, like, the private, like, DMs, messages that come in. Uh, it just got too overwhelming, um, and, you know, too much for me with my business and stuff. So, in there, it's nice in the membership because there's a group of you and, you know, there's more than one person that wants to know the same thing and, um, you know, so everyone's enjoying the conversations and the live chats and questions and you can ask back and forth. Um, you can, you're more than welcome, of course, to always ask me a question here. Leave it in the comments. As I said, I do read all of my comments. It could take me a week to get back to the, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if there's something you want to know and you belong to a uh, membership, it's going to get answered in a more timely fashion. I hope that makes sense to you all. And that is my buzzer bell, ladies and gentlemen. And I did this just in time to get Stellan's uh, limbs together. I hope you all were able to see enough. I'm not a, a expert here at... Um, uh, doing things like this and talking um, because I'm I need to like concentrate on what I'm doing and I'm just one of those people I'm not exactly a fabulous teacher it's not my <laughs> thing. I'm very worried about homeschooling my son <laughs> anyways all right so I think we are gonna leave it off at that um, as opposed to getting Stellan dressed and dragging this video on longer for you all because I've try been trying to pose pretty much every day. Uh, and I, I don't, if there's like half hour videos every day, it's, it's going to get, you know, kind of ridiculous. I'm kind of dying to get that outfit on him, but, um, ugh. I don't know. What do you all think? Do you want to stay and see Stellan get dressed quick into this jockety outfit? Whoops. I like to spend more time when I'm doing such a cute outfit like that. Um, oh, my goodness. But I have it out now. It's all about bloopers and crap like that. But I have it out now. And all right, let's let's go for it. Look at the beautiful back on this um this piece as well. I love the the when they do that with the back piece. It does make it like I I feel kind of <laughs> foolish kind of putting putting this on them sometimes because you got to figure out how all these snaps go. But it really is nice and convenient and when you get used to it I guess for a real baby if you were dressing your baby like this you know if you have money to put them in fancy pants every day which is something I did not you know have this with my children I wasn't able to buy things like this nor would I uh, I'm you know at the holidays and my parents did at the holidays they bought you know the grandkids um holiday clothes and stuff like that but there we go baby goes like that to get this um watch him call it in general, I did not, and life was, you know, hectic, and I had other things going on in life, so, um, you know, I wasn't, didn't really get to have, do the fun kind of shopping, I guess, 
that I'm getting to do now. Just look at that. I mean, I could just leave him in that. And isn't that just perfect and beautiful? I actually have a whole video to do with you on some beautiful two uh, Jacquardy long sleeve um, uh, one, uh, one, one piece onesies um, that have, well, that's for another video, but um, it's really just, it's really nice how just a, a nice one piece can look so beautiful on a baby. I almost feel like I just like let, let's leave it off at this for for him. Oscar, uh, Oscar Stellan. Was I calling him Oscar? Did I mention that it's like I don't know six o'clock in the morning, and of course I haven't been to bed, so this is like a before. I don't even know what this is. Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it off at that because I want to take a few pictures of Stellan in this before I get him into the rest of it. And then I would say if you would like to see um, this piece on him, which is going to look, oh my gosh, so adorable. Um, it'll be posted on my Instagram. I'll post pictures, um, which is at pixie mommies underscore reborns and that's always in the description below as well as a link to join my channel membership is below the lighting i realize is horrible because it's just this time in the morning and the sun's really not up or it's gonna be a gloomy day which, whichever oh and i'll show you mikhail real quick <gasps> look at him <laughs> I just did a photo shoot yesterday and um, I had showed this outfit in membership and look at this on him. Oh my goodness. Is that not so adorable? And of course I swapped up the hat. I put the sunglasses on. Um, Mikhail needs like a, a <laughs> he needs a portfolio here or something. He's like the little the little fashion model over here is that not just so adorable i love doing things like this you know this is what it's all about for me the photos the having fun with the babies chatting connecting with all of you um it's just it's just a blast and look at this preciousness i mean Stellan is a very, very exceptional baby. He really is. <laughs> um, he's just one of those, um, you know, there's a lot of amazing Levi's out there. I know many of you all that have absolutely amazing Levi's out there. I feel like Stellan is the right Levi for me that he you know checks off all of my boxes and just has you know a personality for me and he has his own little you know like I said I like to keep Stellan simple um I, you know literally I the loved baby thing half the summer he was in that uh I enjoyed taking all different pictures uh, with him in that, and it, it, I just liked having him in it, and didn't feel like changing him, uh, you know, um, but I enjoy, like I said, the more, um, simple, very simple look on him, and if it's gonna be anything more fancy, a more of a classic look for Stellan, um, I feel like that's just kind of his, his signature his style and they each have one so and oh, let me let you just say hello because these little ones are peeking here these brothers are now together they are made by the same artist which is tammy at paper city dolls all oh, the magic so bear is home and if you all seen yesterday's video um he got a little mini makeover so he's just oh, I can't, I, I don't even know what to do with myself. All of these incredible babies. I feel so very blessed. 
and uh, Sebastian here, who is the uh, newest addition to the nursery. So these boys are together now. Um, usually Bear and Stellan stay in this basket, but I'm going to be switching things around as I get downstairs. So I don't know ultimately who will bunk with who, and I'll likely change that around uh, a bit anyway. So lots and lots going on. So definitely stay tuned, hit the notification bell, look out for my videos. I've got tons and tons for you all. Got a new baby, tiny little preemie baby girl coming that I am, I just got to see like her finished rooting yesterday. I am over the moon. I can't, I can't. I am, I was jumping up and down like a five-year-old. I really, really was. I am so excited. It's a sculpt I have wanted since it came out. You all know how I feel about preemie babies. And I have an entire haul of really adorable preemie baby girl clothes. Almost micro preemie. Small, very small preemie. Um, baby girl clothes. Um, brand new stuff for you all to see. So that's going to get squeezed in in the next few days as well. I'm so excited because she, I think she might be shipping uh, as early as tomorrow. So I got to see step it up right oh my gosh I gotta get on it so don't miss out um like I said keep that notification bell hit and stay tuned because just explosions going on here at Pixie Mommy's Reborns and I'm all giddy and I'm all happy and I'm over here doing my happy dance and it's just it's so exciting and I love to share it with you all so tell me what new babies you all have going uh coming in what's going on exciting in your lives in your nursery I want to know leave a comment below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and we'll see you next time god bless